Hello, this presentation will allow you to discover Architect PC's survey functionality. We will also see how to automatically generate your project survey with Microsoft Excel and Word or with Quotation Management software. We have already had the opportunity to discuss the subject of the survey with Architect PC in several videos, but this is the first time that we are going to make a global demonstration, thanks to which you will see that the simplicity and efficiency of processing is the same whatever the medium used. If you have any further questions, we will be able to contact you to arrange a personalised presentation adapted to your company and your needs. This presentation will be in three parts. The Quick Survey in Architect PC, the Survey, the Estimates and the Automation of the Written Pieces, and finally, the Survey in Direct Synchronisation with the Quotation Management Software of the Editors Sage, EBP and Satec. For the first method to get a quick survey, let's open Architect PC. In the Welcome dialog box that appears when the program is launched, it's possible to open three types of files. Recently created projects, the different templates you can work from, or a new project that allows you to start from a blank document. For our example, we are going to work from Model 01. and ask for the opening of the default 3D perspective view, which is as follows. And here we will use the wall tool to select all the identical carcass walls on the ground floor. This being done, it is then possible to display the quantity of the different elements selected. By default, Architect PC proposes several primary units grouped by folders. Lengths, surfaces, volumes. And as far as the surfaces folder is concerned, we find the empty surface deducted from the selected walls. The area of openings, which adds up to doors and windows. The interior surface of the carcass walls. The exterior surface, that of the plaster, for example, or the surface empty for full. It is also possible to set up your own calculation formulas associated with these primary units. In the examples here, we have created several custom calculation formulas. A peripheral base derived from the primary calculation formulas of Architect PC, namely, a linear meter on the axis that multiplies 0.6 equivalent to three rows of blocks. A partially buried waterproofing corresponding to the external linear of the carcass wall multiplied by 0.6. Finally, for foundation concrete, cleanliness concrete and excavations, the section in brackets is multiplied by the line of the axis to isolate the quantity in cubic meters. Still on the subject of this table, it is also possible to select a data and make a copy of the information in order to either directly break it down in your own estimating software. The example presented here is in Excel, where you can drag and drop the information. Or to directly order your macro commands. From the same table, you can also set up the survey data directly in your own quotation management software. Let's take the example of the roof tool. Let's select all the identical coverings of the project. Display their quantity by specifying the required unit of measure, in this case the surface area, and break down the results thus obtained directly into a quotation management software, for example Sage Batigest i7, in which all that remains to do is to paste the information and validate it. Let's take another example from the slab tool and isolate all the tiles screeds in the project. To do this, we will make the walls transparent. This transparency is independent of the notion of layers, but it is very practical in this case. Once the exterior walls have become transparent, let's proceed as we did previously, selecting all the identical elements, the tiled screeds in the project, Choose the unit of measurement to display the corresponding quantity. Select this quantity, copy it, and this time let's paste it into Satex Codial Management Software. Let's do the same operation in the EBP software.
As you can see, it's all very simple. To conclude this first part, we can see that this method allows you to quickly display the quantities of a work on the screen and to simply copy and paste them into your usual quotation management software or into your office suite. The second part of this presentation concerns the survey with the automation of written pieces. For this, we will use the default template of Architect PCs and in particular the web demo template. This time, the purpose will be to automate written documents such as DQE, the Notice 45-1 or Descriptive Notice, the CCTP, the Work Contracts or the Schedules. It will also be an opportunity to show you how to connect to a quotation management software. And to this end, we will take the example of a direct connection with the software Batigest i7 from the publisher Sage, EBP OpenLine from the publisher EBP and Codial from the publisher Satec. Architect PC has its own library of materials. This library of materials, which allows the automation of all written parts, includes books, articles, elements for notice 45.1, the book of specific technical clauses, company part for lot assignments, and everything concerning units, VAT and the planning part. This library of items is structured into lots, sublots, and books. It is possible to modify the tree structure as well as all the labels, texts and settings at your convenience. Let's open for example a book. This work has a short description, a long description, a notion of price with the possibility of managing overheads, cost prices and profits, a notion of article which breaks down the work, a descriptive note including all that is not included, close covered and waiting. A special technical clauses book, an enterprise section and a planning section. This library of items can be synchronized and shared in multi-user mode, which means that as soon as an operator makes a modification or creates a new item in this library, all the other collaborators benefit from the information at the same time. How to use this library of books and materials with plans? By default, Architect PC allows you to import various document formats, PDF, DWG, DXF, any type of image format, IFC files for import-export, as well as site surveys that you can carry out yourself using a laser meter or a survey station connected to the software. But for the following example, let's simply start from a blank sheet of paper and work with a wall element whose height can be adjusted with a 0.0, .0 start and a 3.0 meter span. As for the materials already present, which are in the materials tab here, let's start by deleting them all, which will allow us to show you and explain to you what the principle of assignment is. We saw earlier that Architect PC proposes to use primary units but also customised units that are the calculation formulas. Let's take the example of a load-bearing wall, which here is a simple calculation formula using the unit square metre to which we will associate a brick structure. Calibric 1 brick. Then, thanks to the button Add Material to Element, Calibric 1 brick is added to the composition of the wall. Next, let's look for a foundation concrete in the materials library and line it to the wall. Finally, let's complete the composition of the wall thanks to the last formula to which we associate this time a clean concrete. As you can see, principle is very simple. We end up with four elements directly related to the composition of the wall, three of which are not drawn in the project. It is therefore an extrapolation, i.e. Architect PC is asked to automatically deduce a certain amount of information from a known element, the surface of the wall. In this case, the wall is then no longer a simple graphic entity drawn on the screen, but an extended set of data constituting the project. 
To avoid having to repeat this operation indefinitely, this information can be saved into the web demo tree structure. To do this, create an element with the name sample wall and save it with its own parameters. The interest of this recording in the standard model is to be able to use this type of wall for any other project, past or future. Let's make an example to understand better. Let's draw a 10 meter long wall. And for this project, let's create a document that we'll call APS2 quotation and then record it. In Architect PC, we find all the coordinates of the project with the status of the project, project for example in progress, the coordinates of the customer which can be filled in. After that, it will be possible to automate the surfer model, a notion of price with a DPGF, notice 45.1, fees on the total work, Fixed company costs that can be allocated, margins included automatically calculated. Comments related to the project, user parameters, or the site schedule. Let's focus on the work section, where we can see that the drawn wall has automatically returned the four pieces of information about it to the library. Based on this information, it is then possible to generate different types of documents, starting, for example, with an Excel or LibreOffice table. Let's choose to create this template in a table called APS002 and save it. Architect PC has created the template and whether in Excel or LibreOffice, it offers one page per lot, one summary per lot, the masonry lot, as well as a summary corresponding to the summary of all your work, your fees on work totals, and the grand total. This presentation can, of course, be modified to fit your own layout with your usual header and footer. Now let's generate a second example, this time in PDF format. Let's create a document we'll call APS02 Quotation and save it. Once the document has been produced, we will find all the elements in a slightly different presentation, batch by batch, with a summary of the work. We have seen that several works can be assigned to the same drawn element. We will now see how to generate a description from a new digital mock-up. To do this, let's start by creating a small summary building with the standards. And this time we will use a composite wall. Let's make an L-shaped building. A first facade of 14 meters, another of 11 meters 90, a third of 7 meters 50, a small return here of 4 meters 30, and we close the perimeter by clicking directly here. Let us also create a lower floor associated with this layout. Let's add a slab with planks on the periphery. For this, let's ask for the creation of a 16 plus 4 slab inside. Let's go back to the upper floor, whose 3D model looks like this. Let's add some joinery with reference to the axis of the carcass wall. Then let's modify the properties of this joinery. 
And let's complete the whole by adding a few dimensions lines. The model being ready, we can then generate the description. Project, new, sales document. Let's name it DQE APS 04. And then let's validate it. Here's the quotation drawn up by Architect PC. We can then print it in PDF format as before. DQE04. And also generate the corresponding descriptive note. The masonry lot. The plaster lot. The insulation lot. The joinery lot. And finally, a recap. Now let's imagine that we want to remove the Pregimax dubbing and put it as a not included item. In Notice 45.1, simply check not included and increase this price in case the customer finally asks the manufacturer to carry out the work. The work is then automatically crossed out and from there it is possible to print directly the descriptive notice. In the new document thus generated, the Pregimax dubbing appears as not included with its increased price. Let's open another project example, but this time the survey has already been carried out. This is the CMI survey document. Let's partition the screen to display the plan and the 3D model and open the corresponding description. As you can see, all the elements have already been established and the 45.1 records automated. The fully integrated mode of Architect PC allows you to produce building permit documents to automate all the written documents, and this in direct synchronization with your usual quotation management software, as we will see in the last part of this presentation. To understand what the direct synchronization of Architect PC with the quotation management software consists of, Let's open another type of project that will serve as an example. The principle of synchronization is simple. It is a direct link that is established between Architect PC and an estimating management software using the tools change plugin command. To begin, we are going to synchronize Architect PC and a software of the Sage editor, Batagest i7. To be more precise, we are going to synchronize the database of Architect PC and that of Batagest i7. In fact, by clicking on OK to validate, we automatically update the database that is in the background of Architect PC. Each of these two databases then waits for a signal from the other to establish communication. This connection is very important. It means that if an operator modifies a work, or if he creates a new work in Batagest i7, all the modifications made in Batagest will appear simultaneously in Architect PC. Let's now synchronise the libraries. That's done. For the example we are going to study, we will only need the ground floor of the project. Let's display the digital model in 3D and isolate the ground floor. Working from a digital mock-up is very interesting. It allows to isolate or quickly assign some useful information for the establishment of a survey and to send it directly in the estimate of the software synchronised to Architect PC, like Batagest at the moment. 
Let's launch Battergest. And let's create a new study. New estimate. With reference 014. And with a customer name Edicat. For the moment, current study does not contain any information. Nevertheless, we validate it. Then, let's come back to Architect PC. We are now going to make a selection by type of material and assign a Battergest i7 work to it. The example will relate to the partitions. So we click on a partition, then right click, and select identical elements to add all the other partitions to the selection. And with the unit surface area in meters squared of empty space deducted, we can link a plasterwork work. Partitions. And choose, for example, partitions 7248 from Battergest i7 library. Let's proceed in the same way for doublings. Let us select them in the same way. And with the unit's surface in empty square meters deducted, let us assign to them a doubling work taken from the Battergest demonstration library. These two elements, partitions and linings, being linked, we can now generate the quote in Battergest. Survey Sage Battergest i7 Where we'll ask that the quote only concerns the selection of partitions and linings. Let's validate to generate the quote with the reference number 14 previously created in Battergest and let's specify that we want the creation of the sections either of the DPGF or the localization or of the quantitative. Let us choose DPGF. The estimate is now created. Let's take a look at it. The synchronization between Architect PC and Battergest allows the automation and the writing of the estimate, including the dry disbursements. We thus find the partition 7248 with its quantities. A verification of the quantities by wall identifiers resulting from the selection of identical elements in Architect PC with the part doublings. This first method thus makes it possible to establish and automate an estimate of all trades in Battergest. Let us now move on to a second case. For Architect PC users working in calls for tenders or from standard estimates, it is possible to open or display all the current estimates in Battergest from the command survey call for tenders. It is also interesting to be able to load a call for tenders from Spigau into Battergest, integrate it as an estimate and from there retrieve it in Architect PC. Let's answer yes to this message. Finally, when synchronizing with a standard quote or a call for tenders, Architect PC displays a dialog box that gathers all the information contained in Battergest. If it is a standard estimate of a customer, we have the possibility to modify the wording in order to change the information. On the other hand, the modification of an invitation tender is not authorised. Let's go back to the digital mock-up for another example and reselect the partitions. Then let's select the description partitions and use the drag and drop method to extract it from the table and apply it to the elements concerned. Finally, let's ask that the partitions be counted according to unit, surface area and empty meters squared deducted, and let's validate to quantify the tender. Architect PC then displays the quantity contained in the tender and the actual quantity so that they can be compared. As indicated previously, in the case of the standard quote, it is possible here again to modify the description of the work. and save this modification in order to duplicate the study in Battergest. Let's see through an example. Let us indicate here a new name, 
web demo and validate. We have just saved the modification of the estimate in Batagest. The web demo quote includes all the data that Architect PC sent to it and which are displayed here on the screen. Thanks to the direct synchronization of Architect PC and Batagest, this method thus makes it possible to automate the creation of the quote to work from your own standard quotes, which can be duplicated and modified, or to synchronize Architect PC and Tender DPGF in order to feed all the quantities to Sage. Let's now move on to the connection between Architect PC and the EBP software, for which we apply the same procedure as before. Project, Materials Library Management, Tools, Change Plugin. Then we connect to EBP on the basis of SQL data via the SDK, and we validate this connection by clicking on the two OK buttons. The synchronization of the Architect PC database with the EBP software is now effective. We can now make a selection by type of material and assign an EBP work to it. This time, let's select the ceilings. Then let's display the EBP book library. Specify that the desired unit is surface and choose, for example, to apply paint. Undercoat the matte paint and let's validate this information. Let's open EBP. The version used here is EBP Building Management 2020. Then from the Architect PC, let's generate the measurement of the selected elements directly in EBP Gesture Embattiment and export the data from the DPGF. Let's validate this message. The import has been carried out and, in the list that appears, the last quote shows that all the information from the Architect PC has been retrieved. The quantities and the disbursements. As you can see, the method is similar to that of the previous software. In the case of a standard estimate or a tender, it is possible to synchronize Architect PC and a standard estimate from EBP. Let's take the example of the standard quote number 18 and let's display the information concerning it on the screen. In the digital mockup, let's select the part of the project we are interested in, ceilings of identical nature and apply the drag and drop method to quantify their surface area. The ceilings are then directly quantified in EBP. Now let's move on to the Codeal software from the publisher SciTech. Project, Material Library Management, Tools, Change Plugin, Codeal, and in Codial, synchronize the Architect PC and the Codial databases. As before, synchronization is instantaneous. We are now going to assign work to the peripheral walls of the digital model. Let's first select Carcass Wall. And then, as before, let's ask Architect PC to select all the elements that are identical to it. Then in the surface unit, let's assign a work from the Codial library to the selected set. For example, this one. And validate. Open the Codial software so that the Architect PC transmits the quantitative data it has calculated. And then click on Survey, Codial and validate so the Codial generates the corresponding estimate. Let's create a new quote in the name of EDICAD. Reference number 22 and validate. In the list of Codial's quotes, we find the reference number 22.
containing the work we have just sent. Here again, we have the possibility to consult a tender or a standard estimate included in Codial from Architect PC. The method is completely identical to those described above. It consists in opening the dialog box and reallocating the quantities by means of a single drag and drop. In conclusion, the advantages of linking your quotation management software with Architect PC are Direct synchronisation. No import or export between software is necessary. Everything is done in direct reading. Automation of the invoicing. The use of simple drag and drop within the framework of standard estimates for those who do not have a library of works. The management of the localizations for the supply of the building sites. The possibility of consulting directly in your quotation management software the tenders downloaded via the Spigau application and of making the necessary comparisons. On this subject, it is important to know that Architect PC integrates with Spigau part. It is therefore possible and without any connection to an estimate management software to connect to a Spigau tender and respond directly from Architect PC. For more details and information, do not hesitate to contact EDICAD, who will be able to offer you personalised presentations during workshops organised in its offices or in web demos. These workshops take place every Friday morning or afternoon by appointment. You can request them by phone, by email or by using the contact form on the EDICAD website. Thank you for following this presentation. We hope to be hearing from you soon.